So Aviatrix, so, so this is an exciting new project that we've been working on for about the last 18 months. And what we're doing is we're taking the synergy of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and avionics and combining them all into one package that lives in your cockpit with you and helps you do safer, more productive flights. Hello, I'm Avi, the Aviatrix, an artificial intelligence created to help you fly safely. Yeah, so some of the first features that we've got are she can monitor the flight instruments so she knows altitude, she knows airports, she's connected with the GPS so, so she knows where we're going and how to get there and things like that. But a lot of that integration is just like inputs now. She's not using a lot of it yet. We're still very much in development mode on this project. Um, so she'll be able to use all that information in the future. For now, she's basically a companion. She's like Alexa or Siri in the cockpit. Somebody that's along with you and can answer some basic questions. So it's a proof of concept from a technology standpoint. And then over time, as things evolve, she'll get more actual productivity from an aviation standpoint. There's a lot of traffic in the area. Let's request flight following. One, two, zero, point, one, zero. Pilot safety is better. The training's better. Pilots are more aware of what the limitations of their airframes are. All of that matters. But it's also true that a lot of the gains that we've had in terms of safety are because of automation in the cockpit. There have been some disasters, and those are important, and we learn from those. But overall, things have gotten better and better as each decade goes on. And we think that AV is going to be the next step in that evolution in terms of safety through automation in the cockpit. Gas, undercarriage, mix, prop. <laughs> Do I think AI is going to take over the world? So it depends on what you mean by that. If you look at AI from the perspective of like iRobot, yeah, I mean, maybe someday something like that could happen in the way distant future. Today, AI has already taken over the world. It's very difficult to have a smartphone or a laptop connected to the internet where at some point during the course of a day, you're not taking advantage of AI, whether it be something formal like Alexa or Siri that people kind of think about as AI, or even going back 20, 25 years to Google. I mean, the Google search algorithms are somewhat AI based. The uh, engineers that I've talked to over there tell us, we don't even know how some of the search results happen because of the way that machine learning is used and because of the way that connections are made between previous searches and what a given person's hobbies are and what they're searching for currently, there's AI. I am super excited to be going flying today.